Okay, in this video, we're going to have a quick look at task uh, 1.4 activity. Now, I quite like this one because in this one, what we've got is a uh, robot. I think it's a robot vacuum cleaner in this case. Um, wheel A rotates, wheels B and C um, are fixed with a motor attached. So these are powered, but this one just moves along with the other ones. And then you've got an 8 bit register which is used to control the movement of the robot vacuum cleaner. So the motor B can be on or off, motor C can be on or off, motor B can be going forwards or backwards, and motor C can be going forwards or backwards. So if we just have a quick look at this for a second and use this as an example, we know in this one, in this first element here, motor B is on. And if I just use the drawing tool on this for a second just to show it I wouldn't do this on here for yours but just to show it we know that meter B is on and not off we know that motor C is not on but is off so that's this one here we know that B is moving forwards and not backwards and we know that C is not moving forwards and C is not moving backwards but it says, what would be the effect if the register contained the following values? So what we've got here is we've got B on, C off, B going forward. So if we have a look at this, if C is off and B is going forwards, then what's going to happen is this is being driven forwards. This isn't moving. This is freewheeling. So what's going to happen is it's going to turn left. Okay, so what we're looking for as an answer on this one really is that um, motor, move across a bit so we've got a bit more space, use the home one, let's use a different colour. So we can say that motor B is on and going forwards, C is off and not moving, so it is moving left okay and then you can do the same to the next one so you just need to go through on each one and try and work out what's happening is the motor on or off is the other motor on or off is it going forwards or backwards and is the other motor going forwards or backwards and what effect does that have on the eventual outcome and there's nothing to stop you writing over it as long as you then clear it in order for you to answer the next one um, or copying the diagram and pasting it in as you go through if you want to scribble all over it. Hopefully this will help. And I, I like this because it's a real world type example of what we're doing on